Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksweb.com. I thought I'd go ahead and give an update video to the plugins video I made a while ago on the server because a lot of people have been asking for it. Uh, to give you a quick update on the server, if you've heard of Mindstatus.net, there's 4,956 servers on this page and we, out of all of those servers, our 22nd, Dunks of Survival, awesome 24-7 survival. So I've actually made it a time where not a lot of people are on at the moment, but usually we peak around 45, that's about eight o'clock UK time uh, when a lot of people are on. So this here is an obstacle course, you're welcome to try it out. If you saw my old video on Dunks Deadly Jumps, we've made a much more difficult course for you to try out if you want anyway. I'll provide the IP to this server in the, in the uh, description, but that's not what this is about. This is about the plugins we're running. So let's go ahead and do slash plugins, and I'll give you a brief description on each one. So as a public server, which has a lot of people, and I mean a lot, and I'll talk about that later, uh, the first plugin we have is be anti caps. Now we try and keep the chat as clean as possible. So if you try and talk in capitals, you know, shouting, um, it kicks you. That's, it does it automatically, so there's no point in doing it. Next one is Big Brother. I'm sure you guys know about Big Brother. If I quickly give myself a log. Uh, it works a little bit differently now. Right click a block. It tells me everything that's happened on that log. You can see, uh, or that block even. You can see a lot of people have been talking on that particular block. So, let's go back into the plugins. Uh, I've talked about Big Brother in my last video. Next one is block hat. So if I went to this wall in my hand, type slash hat, it puts it on my head. There we go. This is something that's given to donators. There's a nice little perk so you can wear any block type on your head. And to go back into the plugins, the next one is border guard. Now, a brief explanation, as a player, if you go onto another server that doesn't have a guard for their border, you can keep going and make the map size ridiculously big. That can be considered a form of griefing of a server. You just keep going in one direction, and as you're loading new chunks, that's making that map file a lot bigger. So we have a 5,000 block border from the spawn point. So it's actually really useful to have, so it kind of keeps everybody inside a barrier. Next one is CF Banner. Now you can see I'm flying, and uh, this is actually done with something called Zomb or Zombies Mod, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it works really nicely, but we don't want normal players using this. Uh, we allow sponsors, that's people who donate a lot to help the server run. We allow those to people to fly around and also be invisible, but uh, we don't want normal players to be able to do this. And that actually blocks the complete mod pack of Zomb. And it also does a, another one, I think it's CBS or CBF or something like that. It does that, it blocks that as well. That's combined with another cheat system, which I'll explain in a second. Next one is Chat Sensor. So if you come onto the server and you try and swear, Chat Sensor will find you. And that's going to find you 50 gigs and it will take you off the server. It will basically kick you. And if you do that three times, we will then ban you. That's how that works. Next one is Coloured Signs. So you can see here we have Coloured Signs. It's very simple to make a coloured sign. You just put a sign down and you type in and, like the ampersand uh, sign, and then a number or a letter. So four would be red, and then you type test or whatever you want to put into the sign. And it will then convert that into uh, a colour. It makes the signs look a lot nicer. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what we're using uh, as, a, as this uh, texture pack, this is the, what we we call the Dunks Web texture pack, but it's actually uh, painterly. We've, we've pretty much chosen some custom stuff. It looks really nice, actually. We've also got derped animals and like creepers with smiley faces. It's pretty funny, but it really does make the world look really nice. Next one is uh, Craft RC. As you guys know, I talked in my last video, there's a chat room which is available even when the server is offline and you can talk with the people on RC backwards and forwards. Next one is a dupe derper. Now people can make pistoned contraptions that can duplicate blocks. Uh, some servers don't have protection for this, we do. So no one can do that, it will basically block them and also notify the admins so we can come and uh, punish you. <laughs> Next one is essentials, I did talk about essentials before, that works with essential spawn, we've got both of those. That's a bunch of different commands that it's going to take too long to get into. Just do slash help when you have that installed and you'll see everything you can do. Falsebook block and falsebook core allow things like gates, doors, bridges. So they're very useful for those of you who want to make castles. You can have a gate that comes down, you just right click a sign. Next one is going round. So I can type slash gr and then a specified duration. So I'm going to go do 10. And it's actually going to warp me to people on the server. Now I think I'm vanished at the moment, but the vanished plugin isn't working great. We're going to transition to another one which is supposed to work with this plugin once it gets updated. So you can pretty much go around and see if anyone's hacking on your server, if anyone's exploiting anything. Do it while invisible, it's like a quick way to 
It's really useful for us because when we peak at around 45 to 50 players, uh, obviously we can't keep typing people's names in, it's going to get very tedious. So this gives us a chance to get a brief overview of what's happening on with everyone on the server. You can see here, XTS is here. But obviously they can see us sometimes when we warp. Uh, so he's just made something in this little house. So that's that. So to stop this I do slash gr stop. Let's go back into plugins. And uh, the next one is Heroic Death. I'm not quite sure if we've seen anyone die yet, but it was on the last video. You just basically you can kill yourself and it will put a nice funny little message which it will tell everybody. You can also customize that as well. Economy. So we do slash money. It shows me I have 500,000 gigs. Now, gigs is our currency. We have gigs and megs, kind of like gold and copper or whatever you want to call it, but gigs and megs, because obviously we're geeky. We thought we'd go ahead and put that in as well. Lottery. This is really nice. If you come on the server, we do a lottery every hour. This gives you something to spend your money on and a chance to win money. So you can see a lot of people have put money into the pot because you can have a maximum of two tickets. They're 10 gigs each. So if you were to participate, you could put, you could possibly win 120 gigs that's in the pot right now. The draw's in seven minutes, and as I said, it's every hour. So give something for someone to look forward to and a chance to get money, which they can then use to spend in shops and things like that. Um, I did forget chess shop. Oh no, it's down there. I thought this was <laughs> alphabetical order. Right, next one. MC bands. I know this has a bad rep, but I have to say MC bands is pretty useful for us staff to see. Uh, who's been banned. When they come on you kind of see this person has been banned from this server. Um, I know that other servers do ban at will, we're not like that. We have a three strike rule, so you'll get warned, you'll get kicked and then you'll get banned. So we work on that pr uh, principle and MC bans allows us as staff, because our staff comes on at different times a lot, allows us to check up on uh, who's already been banned and for what reason and things like that. So MC bans is actually really useful. It also gives you a command to mute the chat, so if other people are arguing you can just stop the chat. There we go, there's an example of uh, heroic death down there. Mine query, as I said earlier, uh, mindstatus.net, really good directory of uh, servers that are playing. And uh, yeah, you can see mine query pretty much pings our server, shows everyone who is online, and also allows people to vote. And uh, you can just click that thumbs up, you can see 814 votes, and I'll tell you uh, a reason that's helped this as well in just a few seconds. Uh, next one is money drop. So if I go to spawn right now, and I find, apologies if this is lagging by the way, I'm using a crappy screen recorder again. Uh, I just wanted to knock this up quickly and get this out for you guys. So I see a sheep here. I'm going to give myself a diamond sword to kill this quick. If I have a diamond sword, I'll just try and kill this. So, right, so it's killed it straight away. You can see it's dropped some gold blocks. Now we did have jobs and things like that to try and uh, help people get money, but that was too easily exploitable. But with this you simply have to kill a mob and then you pick it up and it's a gamble, there you go, I picked up $12. It's possible that a mob won't drop anything at all, but it also has a range, so uh, sheep I believe are $1 to $15, so it's possible you won't pick up hardly anything. Uh, so it really helps people in survival to go out and try and uh, kill those mobs in order to get some cash. Next one is no cheat. Now no cheat has become much more comprehensive and that's both a, both a good thing and a bad thing uh, with Dochi. It stops people obviously speed hacking, doing a bunch of exploits, but it's become oversensitive and it may be just because it needs a few updates, but we're getting a lot of uh, messages that is if people are cheating but they're actually lagging, uh, like things like sending more packets than they would normally, uh, that's usually done because there's lag on the server, but it does spam up the admin console, but it's more useful than it is a pain. Next one is permissions bucket. Now I highly recommend everyone transition to super perms, which is what permissions bucket runs. It allows uh, a lot of plugins are actually sort of going onto this now with super perms, so I highly recommend getting up, up there. We also have permissions as well because we have a bridge for the older plugins. Now Questioner works with Towny. As you guys know from my last video, we work on towns now, and I'll demonstrate that in a few seconds, but Questioner allows you to add someone and uh, into your town, and when they come online, it will then say blah blah has added you to their town, and then you do slash accept. So it allows to question people when they're offline. Now, remove orbs doesn't really work at the moment, but it was it was useful when we were in unstable builds of bucket because we were pretty much running with the latest stuff. But um, yeah, you, there is still orbs on the server, and I, to be honest, I ridiculously hate orbs. But yeah, that does run. Next one is spam hammer and stop flood. Both of these work in conjunction really well. Uh, it stops people from repeating themselves. It stops people from typing too quickly. It'll basically either say quiet please or it'll kick you or it will automatically ban you if you keep saying the same things. 
Next one is Vanish No Pickup. As you know, I was vanished. Again, it doesn't really work that well at the moment. We're looking to change to Vanish No Packet as soon as that's ready uh, to uh, help us be completely invisible. Because it looks like for a millisecond when you teleport to someone, they can see you. So that's not really useful when you want to be vanished. Uh, next one is Votifier. So earlier I said um, it, we had something to help us get votes. When someone votes, uh, it will say on the server that username has voted for the server. Now that allows them to get a thousand dollars, which is pretty, it's quite a lot in our in terms of our currency and it helps you out in the game. Um, but it usually reminds other people to vote because you can do that once every 24 hours. So you pretty much get a thousand dollars for free every 24 hours. Uh, but it does remind people to vote. There you go, you got an example of someone who, who hasn't cheated. We know Baz doesn't cheat, yet it shows that he was trying to avoid some damage. Uh, next one is, uh, where are we? We are at uh, weather restrictions. Now, with the new update, it looks like weather is turned off through that plugin, but you can actually configure it to have, um, for example, we had it set at every three hours and 20 minutes or something stupid like that, it would rain for about five minutes. So you did get weather, but to be honest, I've noticed from a lot of players, everybody seems to hate the weather anyway. Like, it lags people's systems down, it's just not useful. So, I'm glad it's off. Like, it's not that much of a big issue for us. But uh, it, as a survival server, we really should have it on. But yeah, it, it causes a lot of complaints if you're on a public server. World did it in World Guard. I've explained both of these in my previous video. They're very useful in terms of changing things on the world and protecting things on the world. I recommend you look back on that one. Next one is X-ray detection. So if I do a slash ratio on myself, you'll see I've got zero because I haven't mined anything. If I do a ratio on Red Mocha, who's uh, another admin, he has 0 0.4, so he's been mining a few things. Now, if a person has a ratio of about eight or above, they're guaranteed to be using client hacks to gain materials. So the way it works is it takes people who find rare materials to people who are finding normal stuff. So for example, a guy goes and he goes straight to some gold because he's x-raying, he's using an x-ray mod, he's gone straight to gold, he's then gone straight to diamond, he's then gone straight to lapis or something like that. His ratio is going to be really high because he's not mined through many uh, normal blocks to get to those rare blocks. So his ratio is going to be high and you can pretty much tell because if you're a normal person you don't directly go to the yours every time. You sort of look around and you're trying to look around you and do things like that. So it's very useful to catch out cheaters, it automatically notifies us sometimes. But this is used in conjunction when we go around and check on the players anyway. We do check on the players, we like to keep everything in check as a fair game. And uh, that works pretty well I have to say. Uh, players can actually check their own ratios as well, which I think could be a good thing or a bad thing. because. Uh, but obviously, again, we use that in conjunction with other things. Next one is LWC. I have explained this in a previous video. It's locking of chests. It's one of the most essential things on our server. Uh, but what does happen on our server, if you're in the wild or in the wilderness, as you know, we're a survival server, and you put a chest down, for example, over here, this is in the wilderness, somebody can actually unlock this. Um, admins will unlock this for you for a thousand because it's double block. We, co we charge uh, for people who want to unlock chest in the wilderness. Now this is actually a gamble because there might be nothing in the chest but you could go to this chest say admin can I get this unlocked please we'll come over we'll charge you the amount and we'll unlock the chest but LWC is the way to lock them we don't do this in towns by the way. Uh, chest shop if you guys know I think I explained this on the last one it's basically a sign I won't go through it now but you put a sign up you put it next to a chest and then you buy and sell things I think I did talk about it we went to Timbers one uh, mchat is what you see with people with different colours. We were using essentials chat. Now our chat is configured so it looks as much like IRC as possible because it does combine with IRC anyway. And uh, yeah, and the different colours you see, you can see we've got grey people here. They're the normal players. We have mayors, which are the people who own own the specific town, sorry, and uh, they're blue. And Lord Logan is a sponsor, so he can fly, he can be invisible, because he's donated quite a lot towards the server in one go. Uh, so he gets extra benefits there, purple. You get yellow people who are donators, and uh, green people are mods, red people are the admins. You can also do slash list to find out the different ranks as well. So you can see Mayor's Citrus Drake and CS Hourglass, and we have two sponsors. So a lot of people have helped out with the server, and I have to thank those uh, for donating to us, to helping us out, and keeping us running, because we are, we are quite... We're a dedicated server that's running on 3 gigs of RAM at the moment, and it's not cheap to run. Uh, so the last one is Townie. Now I won't go too much into Townie, but Townie is amazing. It allows, uh, it gives 
control of areas to players, they can protect their own stuff, they can give out plots to people, they can hire people, they can have their own town bank. It's completely transformed the way ours is running. So, yeah, uh, if I go to Towny Universe, you can see how many residents we've had. This is since the 15th of September, so that was uh, eight days ago. Uh, Towny resident, Towny Universe. You can see we've had 829 residents on serve in the past eight days, so it is working extremely well. And uh, before this, we had at least 1,500 people in about two weeks, so this is definitely a popular server. So these are the things we're running to try and keep people in check. And again, you can find us on Mind Status. I'll provide the uh, the uh, IP to us in the description. You're welcome to check us up. And uh, that pretty much is it. We run by the wilderness, we run by towns, we have an economy, we have pretty much everything you need if you want to have a good game, but keep the traditional methods of Minecraft. This is running on Minecraft 1.8. Not looking forward to Minecraft 1.9 because we've just got a stable on 1.8 as a server owner, as a player. I'm pretty much looking forward to it, but every update that comes out is a pain in that for me. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like these videos, and thanks again.